Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I like to isolate um, a tooth for an adhesive overlay and cementation appointment. Um, we're going to be showcasing the uh, brand new OC clamp which we developed with um, 12VM over the last year or so. Okay, so the way we start is we're going to isolate the um, quadrant and we're going to put an anchor clamp on the um, teeth behind. So I'm going to go with a clamp first technique here. I usually use a B1 clamp for um, the second molars, so I'll put that on. And then we're going to just go with a clamp first technique, so we're going to stretch the dam over. That clamp tooth. Usually, once I'm on, I'll put it in the frame. And then work these to the contact. So try and get something at the front first, it'll help pin it down usually the easiest and then you can work through the contact sometimes need a little bit of floss now um, it's a little bit easier on a typodont than it is in the mouth um, but you'll see we can get this um, the overlay to 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 isolate reasonably easily but in the mouth what you find often is it starts to um, to ride up the tooth um, maybe you've lost a little bit of the bulbosity that makes it more difficult to invert and so having an accessory clamp um, on the overlay can be really, really helpful. Okay. So this is where the, um, the OC clamp can come in. So the OC clamp is designed specifically for um, overlay cementation, but it could also be used as a general accessory clamp as well. The features of the clamp are that it's got a very um, flat and long arm to the bow, and that allows you space to do your cementation and to floss your contacts. It's also, if you see the, uh, the tines here, they are offset, and you'll see that when that gets placed mesially, which is how it's designed, that it, it sits very, um, very evenly, nice four point contact on the tooth, whereas something like a, maybe a B4 or a cut B6 um, doesn't give you that um, nice fit without modification. So you put your dam on like this, you might find it's riding up on the overlay pre preparation, what you can then do is open up your lovely accessory clamp, place it on and snuggle it down the tooth if needed. Okay. The OC clamp is very secure, to be honest, uh, because, of, because of those angle tines, but if you needed to, you could add some um, liquid resin here without etching and bonding just to hold and secure it. But you don't normally need to because of the way that it engages. And you can also just press down a little if you needed, just to make sure it was really secure. So what you can see now is that you can quite easily place your overlay. And the beauty of this clamp over other accessory clamps is you still have plenty of room to floss. And the key is you can floss all the way down to the bottom of the contact to remove the excess cement, which is a really important when you're doing an overlay cementation. Um, bags of room and easy to work with. And just to show some variety, I've put in the um, overlay that we cement on the on the course. Um, so that's all all ready to go for the delegate, so we can walk through all of the process. And um, you see the OC clamp works really well um, on the premolar and support teeth, really. And the way that those tines are engaged really lets it sit. And unlike like a cut B six it sits lovely and flat you can then get the floss right down and clear those contacts and make sure there's no resin between the teeth which is absolutely critical okay so once i've got to this position my order for, men's, for cementation is i will clean off any um excess temporary cement i will try in the restoration make sure it fits and then i will take that away and do the um silane procedure um, and put the bond on that one so that'll be getting done then I like to isolate the tooth with a metal band and sandblast the um, immediate dentin seal ready for bonding. I will etch the whole surface and rinse it off. And then after I've done that, I like to do an extra step, which is to isolate with some PTFE tape. So I take the PTFE tape and I do it after etching just because um, sometimes it will move if you, when, you, when you rinse all the etch off. So I do so it'll stop the bond. So I'll just place the PTFE over the um, adjacent tooth, press it against with a flat plastic to pull it nice and taut. And then this is really a nightmare for holding in position. So what you do 
is you trace some liquid down over the clamp, around and down, and that will just secure that PTFE while you do your bonding procedure. So I'm going to do that on the, um, the distal side. Kind of an additional step this but it does make sure that the no resin gets stuck over to the adjacent tooth um, which comes handy and if you just connect the liquid down to the clamp uh, it holds more securely so just check that your overlay still cement fits nicely and we're good, ready to cement.